So we got the GoFish cam. We're going to see if we can see any pompano out there or any other surf zone species. Oh, this water feels amazing. We're going to cast this puppy out there. See what we can see under the water. All right, all right, all right. We are back falling into the depths of the waters off the coast of Florida, Gulf Coast in Pensacola. And what we see first is my rig got tangled. And I believe that is going to mess some things up with fish striking the bait. Probably got tangled while it was in flight and you've got eight ounces of weight and the camera just throwing things sometimes in a spinning motion but I don't know it's tangled and sometimes our rigs do fail and uh, I've had them where both droppers are linked together <laughs> in the water and so when they link together that causes the hook not to be exposed and the baits not gonna be able to be sucked in and so could be a reason why you're not catching anything but we'll test that theory right now we'll test to see if we're going to miss some opportunities because our rig is not in a position to catch fish. Cool jellyfish in the background above the rig. And that first school that came through were a bunch of ladyfish and now they're coming back. And what's interesting about this school, and typical of most schools in the ocean of fish, is that all the fish seem to be the same size. It may be that they grow up together in the same school got what looks like a Spanish mackerel in the background coming through and again we're gonna see multiple different species of fish come in and out and as you can see in the lower right it looks like a snail is coming to the bait right now uh, and those snails there's one in the far background you can see scooting across the wire looks like a little bit of a black spot but those snails can render your baits completely and utterly useless. There's a pompano in the background. Let's see if it comes closer. There's no movement of the bait, and so he really can't grab it and go. He did come closer. Keeper size pompano, just a beautiful fish to witness in its natural environment. And of course, he goes right by the bait. Now I'm speeding up the camera here four times the normal speed and look at these snails. These are This is amazing how they envelop the bait and they're going to wrap all the way around it. And the last two times that I have been filming, we have been able to witness these things at work. This is the, the closest I've ever been and what they do is they envelop your bait and they try to dig it back down into the sand like that one's trying to do right now but there's some tension and they're gonna have a hard time doing that and look how it's just digging straight down look how the mucus on its actual body is kinda of pushing through the sand and these critters will go down to the sand like I said and there's no bait present and this is enough if you're fishing the Gulf Coast of Florida to check your bait every 15 minutes especially if conditions are calm because they could be stealing your bait and you've got no shot at catching fish this is a different rig I'm using the floaty jigs those are leather jacks and you can see how if a bait is working properly and you've got floats on rigs these are the floaty jigs they suspend their soft floats here comes another pompano very surprising that we don't get at least some nudge or strike here and they just come in and out and they're gone leather jack looks interested and the water's warm, the water's, the water's at 85 degrees. Their requirement for food is, 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 is pretty big during the warmer waters, but there's so much food out there 
that I'm not surprised that you're not going to get some strikes on certain days because they're just not hungry. Very cool needlefish. He takes a bite. Just a weird mouth. And just keeps on going. These leather jacks again. Very interested. I don't think I've ever caught a leather jack surf fishing. You may have, but I never have. Hardtails. They're going to kind of pick at it. They're smelling it. And they're moving on. Another hardtail. I have eaten hardtail. You can harvest them. They can get pretty big. It's okay. It's not the best fish I've ever had. But it's okay. Will I eat it again? Probably not. Just nudging it. No real strike happening. I was using ghost shrimp in the first frames that you saw where it was tangled. I did move on to a different rig and used OP bait soak. And we've got jellyfish in and out, top left corner. Another jellyfish coming in and out of frame. But a properly rigged pompano rig, if you're using some floating hook, which this is a floating hook, you'll suspend the bait in the water. You can tell that the motion of the water is not too great, so it is pretty flat. And that's why we saw the snails earlier. It's pretty flat waters. But you can see how they drift in and out. They kind of move slowly. More hardtail and leather jack. He's trying to eat it this time. And he's just going to steal my bait. Smaller mouths of fish are going to pick at your lure or jig or rig. And this guy has no problem stealing bait. That is a remora. And he just completely took all the bait off the hooks. It's amazing that they know how to do that without getting hooked. Just happened. Again, all this is happening to your bait while you're fishing. And I'm not seeing any movement back at the beach. So if you're out there fishing, I don't care what you're using, fish bites, fish gum, may last 30 minutes to an hour out there. Don't trust your bait being out there longer than 15 to 25 minutes. You really have to continue to check your bait or it could be rendered useless, empty, and as they say, fishing on credit. There it is, bear hooks, fishing on credit. This next cast was cast in a spot where there was more wave action and you can see the water is more dingy and messy and there is a large school of ladyfish. You can't really see them eating the bait. I think I changed rigs back to naked rigs which means no float or bead. And you'll see how one fish is brave enough to break the school's pattern but quickly get back in it. I will actually hook up on a fish here in a second but it goes to show you as as one fish gets excited more get excited they got to be brave enough to break the school and get hooked there is a fish hook now in the background he's trying like crazy to get off but he is stuck there he goes again eating another one's eating and there you go that was a cigar minnow and here we have a nice stingray coming in and out of frame and those fish when they eat your bait they hover over it they suck it up from the bottom into their mouths and that's how they eat he's in and out of frame and I hope you enjoyed these underwater fishing videos I have many of them on YouTube some with several million views but they seem to be popular when we can tell exactly what is going on and then make adjustments and that's what these are all about it's to see and not to predict but actually have opportunities to see how the fish behavior is actually to see our rig behavior and then make adjustments as we're going this is another naked rig everything is on the bottom exposed to the snail population we have more cigar minnows coming in and out of frame. We have two whiting. Haven't seen those in a while. Very tasty fish. And thank you so much for watching this channel, these videos. Please subscribe, like, and join me next time right here. Weak Side Strike. God bless.